guys welcome back to vlogmas so today i'm actually going out i'm about to go to get some things for decorating i'm not done decorating so i'm finally going to go get some bulbs and probably get wrapping paper of some sort um, because i don't really have a lot well i do not miss cleaning off the car <laughs> Hands are frozen. I say that like I don't have plenty of gloves that are inside that could have helped me with the situation, but it's fine. On the road we go. <laughs> we are at Barnes and Noble and I thought I would go in and get a festive drink. I haven't had one this year and that was actually my first time going into Michael's and looking at decorations and buying decorations this year. That was a lot of fun. I'll show you guys when I get home what I picked up but first let's go inside get some cozy drinks maybe look around. I don't know if I want to find like any gifty things or a game. I don't know I'm just gonna browse because I'm not really a physical book reader if you don't know. <laughs> I, I'm a podcast and an audible person, so yeah, I probably won't get any books, but who knows? I'm open to ideas. So difficult, um, yeah, because it's like for family, the whole family. So I'm trying, but I don't know. I feel like I need to consult. I made it home, and it was quite a ride. I forgot that it was snowing while I was inside Barnes and Noble. So, yeah, a lot of snow accumulated, and I'm glad I wore my snow boots because on the way in the store, I was like, I. I'm um, overdressed like no one else was wearing snow boots except for me so I felt a little ridiculous but once I left which I think was like two hours later I don't know how it happened I just get into a weird time blind time loop or something um I was on the prowl I was enjoying myself so I guess that's what happened um it was a date after all I definitely like swerved a bit had to overturn the steering wheel back and forth and straighten the car out. My car is great in the snow, so that was, you know, a little fun. But I will say that instance was the perfect opportunity to start getting comfortable with the snow because once it's like a big snowstorm, it's kind of like scarier. It's nicer when it's just a little bit of snow to like get used to driving in it. And after I did all the turning, I was just like, oh yeah, <laughs> your heart skips a beat just a little bit, but it's it's scary and exciting at the same time. I don't know, is that just me? Please someone else tell me that they're the same. Um, I have the oven going because I'm about to throw in a pork belly that I seasoned yesterday. So this is it. It has ink on it. It's like local pork. So I guess they like have to put that. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. Slicing it was so impossible. There's sugar, salt, and pepper on it. So it's gonna go in for 30 minutes and then an hour at a lower temperature. I like how I bring lip gloss and lip balm um, out with me and then I end up not using it. I just forget, but also I felt a little stuffy while it's the store. Anyway, we're here to do the haul and share what I got at Michael's and Mars Noble. Also, let's just appreciate my bag, this cat's in sweaters bag. This is from TJ Maxx and it's just the cutest thing ever. So the first thing I was after were ornaments and I did not get any colored ones. They had one tower of a lot of really small, really colorful ornaments and I was just not ready to commit to that. So I only got some neutral ones. So I got white ornaments. I realized that I did not own any white ornaments. So I thought the nice contrast with the green tree, the white would look really nice part of that wintry wonderland. And these are just regular glittery. Moving down in size, I got this stack. This has five ornaments and this is a combo of like 
silvery gold. It's kind of like a sand actually. There were some that were gold, some that had a pinky hue, and I really wanted to go down the pinky hue route, but I'm not there yet. Maybe like a smaller tree in the future. So this one was the perfect in between. We have some ones that remind me of sand because it's like a zen garden when you just do like that to the sand. Um, very relaxing. <laughs> Oh my god, the descriptions. I'm getting a little too into it here. So that's that for that set. Next up we have this, which is more on the silvery side. There's one gold and one like sand colored and the rest are silver. This one I really like. It reminds me of like Tudor house windows, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, very fun and pillowy. Then I went on a hunt for poinsettias, which I did get. I found these white ones. All the poinsettias were just so mangled. So yeah, <laughs> I, I probably look a little too into it when I'm picking out which poinsettias I'm taking home with me because I don't want them to be mangled. But I went for these white with silver on the edge. Very pretty. And I think I'm just going to cut these off and stick them into the tree. More contrast because that's what the tree needs. Well, I need the tree's fine. You know what I'm saying. And then these next things, very fun. I got some picks that will actually work for the tree. So here they are. I got three of them and I like that they're round. These remind me of like Grecian goddess things. I just was in the store looking at all these pics and I'm just like costumes, costumes, <laughs> but no, we're not making costumes. And then I did get wrapping paper. This is where I gave myself a moment to get something pink. But first I got this one that's just like stars, white stars. It reminds me of Harry Potter, but also not just very clean and pretty and magical. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. And then this one, this is so cute. I really should take this off so you can see the actual illustrations because it's so adorable. So here it is. It's so cute. It reminds me of a country, a little small town, like a book cover. Look at the barn. Everyone has trees on their cars. There's an ice rink. It's just so cute. There's a girl reading a book and I love the different colored houses. Look at those people go. Moving on to Barnes Noble. So first things first, I got something for my brother-in-law. He is a book person. So this has 30 classic novels and it was just very cute. They had different ones like female authors, um, spooky books, and this was at the cafe. He's really into tea, so he will use this. I want to get something useful, so a mug is very appropriate. And there's this funny situation like in our house. He like takes our mugs like here and there and he'll hold one hostage for a long time. And right now he has one of my husband's mugs held hostage. And I'm saying that because it's not like he's returning it to the kitchen, like he keeps it with him. So yeah, he was doing it with like one of my mugs here and there and it was one of those like, where is it? I like to use it here and there. And then he would like exchange for a different one. So now he has his special mug that he can keep forever. This is like so bizarre. I hope I don't sound like so mean. And he doesn't have a lot of mugs because he like moved here and left everything at his previous home. I did end up with a game and the usual game we end up playing during Christmas is Cards Against Humanity. And if you know that game, it is just, you know, it's funny, but it's awkward. So I wanted to get one that was a little more like PG, but still fun for everybody. So this is Mind the Gap. I saw the big board game version, but I figured this would be kind of nice because it's just easier and small. There are 1000 generational trivia questions. Oh my gosh. So this is really funny. I think this is great because we have all the generations in our family and it's just gonna be like interesting. We're gonna learn so much because, you know, not everyone knows everything from all generations. So 
hopefully you played this, hopefully they're into it. So I was eyeing the calendars for quite some time because there were some really beautiful calendars and I'm not really a calendar person. So here are some examples, so pretty. And there's no words on them, so I can like keep the pages and then use it as art in my studio. My studio right now is very neutral other than the rainbow rug, so yeah, artwork for the future, you know, home. I did get one more thing and it's a gift for someone that watches my videos, so I'm not gonna show it to you guys. Well, it's time to go and uh, put these things where they belong. I don't know if I'm gonna wrap. I definitely have to prepare for my work tomorrow. Figure I'd show you guys tonight's meal because I showed you the pork belly, so it's all done. It's so crispy. The skin is solid like my teeth i don't know <laughs> my teeth can handle that so she's great and then we have the egg drop soup in some chicken broth so delicious there's a lot more um but yeah just gonna eat until i'm satisfied thought i'd mention that the inspiration for this dish is ramen obviously because it has the pork that's in the soup it is so good. I had a very crunchy piece and it was not the skin and I'm like trying to figure out what it was because I want another crunchy piece. Hey guys, so it is Monday. I'm about to go into Ulta to pick up an order. I am very excited because I got some fun things. I'm just gonna like touch up my makeup a little bit. I have my Big makeup bag. Oh yeah, it's a Harry Potter one. I've had this for so long. Also, this is what I keep my makeup brushes in. This is a pencil case and I'm just going to grab a little brush here. I have like a double ended one and just touch up like underneath because the pink is gone and kind of just makes me feel more awake. My look today is kind of pink and orange. It's like if spring and autumn had a baby with some glitter. I'm just gonna pat some more, more on there. This is Mac Melba. I only have one lip product with me. Didn't realize that. It's the Diamond Lip Plumper. Success! Starting from the top, we have ColourPop Makeup Palette. This is the Truly Madly Deeply. So here is the palette. And I really like that it looks so magical. Um, and on the inside, there's some pressed glitters. I am so excited. And some duochromes. Oh my god, okay. We have Coast to Coral. Look at those colors. So pretty. And I forgot that I was getting a lip product. So this is the e.l.f glossy lip stain and I've been wanting to try this for a while. I got it in Power Mauve. So cute and little this packaging. Off we go to the mall.